Welcome everybody to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're doing plotting horizontal and vertical lines. This is Mr. Wes. So the first thing we have here is graph y equals negative four. You may be familiar with a couple things. One, you might be familiar with uh, slope intercept form. It looks like this. I'm going to reference this a little bit. M is your slope. B is your y intercept. Um, where it crosses the y-axis, and M, of course, is your rise over your run. Okay, how much it goes up for how much it goes left and right. So how do we plot something like this where it doesn't look like it's in the normal form? Well, technically, this is in slope-intercept form. What you don't see is you don't see the x, so what does that mean? That means your, your rise is zero. It makes the x disappear. This is one way to think about it. So we have y equals 0x minus 4. What's our slope? Our slope is 0. 0 times x is 0, just leaving us with the, oops, I meant to do straight lines here, just leaving us with the negative 4. So y equals negative 4 is our line. What does that mean? Well, that means it crosses the y-axis at negative 4 right here. So that is definitely going to be a point. Now we can use our rise over run, which we said is 0, now, don't put 0 over 0, so we can just put over 1. Anything, any integer we can make into a fraction by putting uh, over 1. And that is our rise over our run. So we're going to rise 0, so that means I go up and down 0 from my negative 4 point. Okay, be looking here. Um, sorry, it's hard to point. <laughs> point in this thing, we don't have like a laser pointer or anything like that. So anyway, we have 0 over 1, and then we go to the right 1. That's what that one is. So we go up zero to the right one, up zero to the right one, and so forth. And if we want, we can, well, not if we want, we should connect our dots to make a straight line. Now, you'll see that the slope is flat. It's a horizontal slope, and that is true for any equation in this form. Anytime we have y equals a num uh, some number, it's going to be a horizontal line with a zero slope. So zero slope. Okay, what else can I say about this? How else do we know this is uh, accurate? Well, if we look at all these points here and we plotted them, or you labeled the, the coordinates, sorry, I missed this one. This would be negative six comma negative four. This one right here would be negative three comma negative four. This one, of course, is the y-intercept. That's zero comma negative four. I hope you're seeing a pattern. This is the point five comma negative four. What are you noticing? It's negative 4 for the y uh, coordinate for each one of these. That's because y equals negative 4 for every point along that line. Okay, The x doesn't matter because the y is always going to be negative 4. So this is the graph that represents that scenario. So we're negative 4. We, it doesn't even matter where these two dots are because we want it to be equal to negative 4 for the y values. Check it out. All right, next one. Okay, exact opposite scenario. Glad we got this one now. Now we have x equals negative 3. This one is not in slope-intercept form. Not in slope-intercept form. Why? Because we're missing the y. There's no y, okay? So that means it's not in slope-intercept form. This is a special case. Now, just as we ended the last example with everywhere y equals negative 4, now we're doing the exact opposite. We have x equals a number. What is that number? It's negative 3. Where are all the points, all the places where x is equal to negative 3? Well, first we need to find x equals negative 3 on the x-axis. So x equals negative 3 is right here. Boom. There is negative 3. Where are all the points that equal negative 3? So we got our first one here. Okay, that's the point, negative 3, comma, 0. That's the x-intercept. That much is clear. What about this one? This is negative 3, comma, negative 3. That's good. What about this one? This is negative 3, comma, negative 6. Okay, that's where x equals negative 3. This one is 5, comma, oops, sorry. <laughs> Messed up. Okay, a little carried away. Negative 3, comma, 5. What do you notice? There's negative 3, there's negative 3, there's negative 3, there's negative 3. Those are all the points where x equals negative 3. If we connect our dots, we should see something. We see a straight vertical line. Okay, so anytime we have x equals a number, 
is going to be a vertical line. Now, what is our slope for this one? We talked about how the y equals the number uh, has a zero slope. This one's a little bit different. This time, let's try to calculate it. Let's just choose two random points here. So we can choose this one, negative three, zero, and then three comma, negative five, or three, negative three comma five, negative three, zero, and negative three, five. What's our rise and our run? So our rise between these two points is we go up one, two, three, four, five. So our rise over our run for this one, we went up five. Now what's our run? How much did we move to the left and right? Well, we didn't move up left and right any. We stayed at negative three, so it's zero. We have a problem here. Five divided by zero, you can't divide by zero because that's undefined. But that's exactly what a vertical line's definition is for the slope. The slope is undefined, okay? It's an undefined slope. This will never have a y-intercept, so there's no y-intercept. So this is a special case, x equals negative three. Anytime we have x equals a number, that's gonna be the scenario. Check it out. Next question. What is the equation of the horizontal line through uh, negative seven, negative three. Okay, if it's a horizontal, that means it has a zero slope, and that means it's y equals a number. So we know we need y equals a number. And to find out, we're just gonna look at the x and y values here. We want all the y values to be equal to negative three because it's horizontal. So we're gonna make our equation, guess what? Y equals negative three, and that's our answer. That's gonna be every, here's our coordinate plane, that's gonna be every place Horizontal line, negative seven, negative three, right here, negative seven, negative three, with a zero slope, that's what it's gonna look like, okay? So y equals negative three. You're like, oh, we didn't even use the, the negative seven. No, we didn't. When we're talking about uh, horizontal lines, we don't really care what the x value is. So y equals, make sure you put y equals uh, negative three. So we check it, there we go, next question. What is the equation of the line? Okay, this is another horizontal line, and this time it's going through four, so guess what? Y equals four. But what about the X values? We don't care. It's a zero slope. If you want, you could put Y equals zero X plus four, but guess what? You simplify and you get Y equals, where's my equal sign? I just, there you go, equals four. Check it out. Boom, show summary. You will be having the same success. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on West Explains Best.